Well, welcome back. Some local students are on the way to Washington, D.C. for Pre President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration. They will be joined by thousands of students from across the country. What is the presidential inauguration? What does that mean? Daffy High School social studies teacher. When the president-elect becomes the president. Mary Donna Helms is devoting part of her week. He will take this oath of office. The teaching about Donald Trump's. The very same one. Inauguration. That George Washington took. But she, along with three other students, will be seeing it firsthand. Regardless of party politics, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, we're going to get to witness the 45th president be inaugurated. Um, to the highest nation in our land and it's just an exciting time. People from all over the country, students from every state will be in attendance. The Daphne students will watch the inauguration on the National Mall. They've been counting the days. To really just be able to see the president in person and be able to make my own opinions and get a well-balanced perspective of what our government is all about. Well, something that uh, not everyone can go to, so you kind of have to take that chance, be part of history, be right there. Hunter Sessions can't wait to be right there. He signed up for the trip even before the November election. It's going to be worthwhile. When I go there and I experience it in person, like you can dream about things and visualize it, but actually being there in person, it just changes your whole point of view on things. The students will have an action-packed trip and will get to visit many of Washington, D.C.'s historic sites. You can teach so much out of a book, but there is nothing like walking in the places where these famous people walked. Um, we're going to stand where Martin Luther King gave his um, I Have a Dream speech. We're going to the Lincoln Memorial. Um, we're going to the U.S. Capitol and just being there, touching, feeling, experiencing is nothing like it. And Ms. Helms says that after Donald Trump won the election, she had several students who wanted to try to sign up for the trip, but it was too late because the money had to be turned in in October. And those aren't the only locals headed to Washington. A group of Cub Scouts and their dads are on their way right now, and they sent us some pictures from their road trip. <laughs> PAC 177 will lead the Pledge of Allegiance during one of the events tomorrow in the nation's capital, and they'll be sticking around to witness the inauguration on Friday. Good luck, good luck to all our uh, Weebelows on their big journey. Apparently, they're in North Carolina, soon to be in okay, Washington. Okay, they're still smiling.